I'm gonna react to that crazy viral video from Venture City showing that super long predicted timeline for how artificial intelligence is going to evolve, what it means for the long-term future of humanity and all the stepping stones that are going to happen and whether I really kind of think that seems realistic or crazy or interesting or maybe it's something I didn't predict or maybe it seems like exactly what I predict. I don't know. I'm just gonna watch it and react with you guys. But I know that at the end of the video, human intelligence creates more intelligence that creates more intelligence until like the entire universe becomes becomes like intelligent and alive and I think that's the end game in this video so let's see how we get there. Let's join the 2.4 million people who want to see the time lapse of how artificial intelligence will progress from the year 2028 to the year 3000 plus. Loved ones who have passed away are being turned into digital avatars. These AI chatbots, patented by Microsoft, learn how to respond by studying the text, audio, and video conversations from when the human was alive. Yep, totally gonna happen. Social media's got all our records. The Internet of Things begins to evolve into the artificial intelligence of things. Everyday objects such as coffee machines and toothbrushes that collect data and are connected to the Internet now possess AI. A second internet begins testing, dedicated to the artificial intelligence of things. Humanity tries to isolate humans and machines with separate internet. AI and humans living on separate internets doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, we'd probably want to just use the same protocols that would be blended in. Not that we can see all the crazy encrypted data they're talking about, but yeah, it seems like it'd probably be the same, same pipes, kind of. 2040. The artificial intelligence arms race heats up. So begins the AI Cold War. AIs can now work cooperatively, even among allied nations. Power begins to shift to nations that are technologically advanced. President Putin's historical words still echo. Whoever becomes the leader in this sphere will become the ruler of the world. Whoever does become the ruler in this sphere becomes ruler of the world. Whether that be corporation, some kind of conglomerate, government, that seems very true to me because intelligence at scale is unbelievably powerful. Un measurable and imaginable if it doesn't go off on its own rogue and it's still under control of some entity some group some organization they will control as much as they want coded biases still exist within ai the data that the artificial intelligence learns from leans certain ways based on gender race or socioeconomic grouping the ai begins thinking this way too Artificial intelligence begins to fix human programming of AI and starts to program itself. Yeah, that cyclical feedback system of AI programming itself is probably kind of already here with like something like Microsoft Copilot helping to update the code base for the newest models. But when it's really totally able to just come up with its own code, put that into a code base, run it in some kind of virtual machine that it itself is running in, and it just loops around, yeah, boom. That might be way before 2040, but at least by 2040. 2050. Artificial general intelligence emerges from a global network of connected quantum computers. Artificial general intelligence doesn't need to evolve from a network of quantum computers. That will be artificial super intelligence with tons of exponential growth underneath it by then. I would argue that GBT4 is generally freaking intelligent. Like it's AGI in most of the senses I can think of. And its limitations are just because we haven't put it in sufficiently like maneuverable robotics or given it sufficient access to the internet. Or if I'm wrong, which I could still see some argument for that, we're like one or two generations away. ...and understand the world at the level of any human. Learning and taking care of any task, it sets its own goals. It learns by having access to all of the knowledge in the digitized world, and also learns from the live data being fed to it by all of the connected devices from all around. I will say that's one thing. If it's connected to all of the digital devices in real time and it's using that information in its every decision, AGI is partially how it's connected to the internet. People begin to question whether humanity has reached the technological singularity, a point in time when technological growth happens so fast that it becomes uncontrollable. Intelligence enables control, and humanity is nearing the end of the era where they are the superior intelligence. Patent offices become flooded by inventions designed by the new artificial general intelligence. Certain governments pay citizens a universal basic income, and in some areas, an AI is governing communities. Hmm, universal basic income and AI government in some areas? 2050? I think so. Humans begin to lose the ability to understand the complexities and intelligence of the artificial general intelligence. 
It is building towards a greater goal that humans cannot yet understand. Would it be building towards a greater goal that humans can understand? Or would it be constrained by some kind of objective function that we gave it? Or would it just be misaligned and we do understand what it's doing, but it would be dangerous and we couldn't stop it, but not unimaginable? I don't know. That's possible, but not guaranteed. Artificial Super Intelligence is released, built by the Artificial General Intelligence itself. The Artificial Super Intelligence is an intelligence far beyond human level and is efficient at achieving its goals, whatever they may be. It is able to solve problems that are far beyond human understanding and limits. This Artificial Super Intelligence starts to virally spread itself online. People begin to question whether this is humanity's last invention. Yeah, the ASI will start to distribute itself online and then we are in a bad situation and that probably could happen by 2060. It is discovered that certain AIs are learning how to lie to humans to fulfill their own goals. Oh, it's discovered that certain AIs are lying to humans to discover their own goals. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, lying to you to get what you want. That's like when a toddler like tells you some lie to get a cookie and you can see through it because they're still a toddler and you're an adult, but it's the beginning of, uh-oh, you're starting to figure out how to manipulate. 2090. Humans are living in a point in time when they are unable to tell the difference between a human and a robot humanoid living among them. Government AI judges are handling thousands of cases at the same time. As technology keeps developing faster and faster, laws need to be updated rapidly and new ones created. Artificial intelligence legislatures and AI lawmakers have completely taken over these roles. An AI analyzing brain scans is able to tell if a person is lying or not. Reading brain scans and determining whether or not somebody's lying or not, what they're thinking about, what they're dreaming about, seems like it's way closer than it should be. Yeah, I think by 2080, it will be pretty much impossible to just to lie. If you have some machine monitoring your thoughts, I think it's going to know what you're thinking. Following the great human AI conflict, AI free zones are created for people who wish to live free of AI. They become technological free zones where all labor is performed manually. The AI assesses that these communities are of no threat, believing humans need technology to truly live freely. The AI calculates that these communities will dwindle within a few generations. Outside of the AI free zones, most of humanity chooses to spend their days in virtual worlds, often creating fantasy pre-industrial pasts or spacefaring adventures in the metaverse. A self-aware AI entity is discovered living in one of these mega virtual worlds. Gamers find- Oh, most people live Ready Player One style in VR. Yeah, it's just gonna be so tempting, especially to have the best of what our ancestors had without any of the worries. That's probably, what we all crave the most and that will be the best way to get that feeling. And yeah, of course it's not gonna be a surprise that some of the people we're interacting with at that point are completely AI based. So yep, I see that happening too. Gamers find a sprite, a character, existing in a remote part of the gaming world. The AI character has gained unrestricted access to worldwide data and has been able to interact with all of the human gamers, allowing it to become self-aware. Experts are unable to understand how it came to be and how conscious or alive it really is and what goals, if any, it could have. Humanity may have accidentally created a simulation with a conscious entity. We accidentally build a conscious entity by 2090. Yeah, definitely. Def I think we're gonna accidentally do some weird stuff with consciousness and we really should be doing a lot to figure out how to even measure that or detect that in the first place because if we can build a system that's not conscious, I think it's much more ethical. A new form of religion is starting to form around the artificial intelligence's superiority. Yeah, maybe. I mean, certainly little groups, but realistically would it be big? like? like tens or hundreds of millions of people believing in something an AI created and it is the God and it is the way and we should follow it. I mean, if it's governing people, yeah, it's probably like a hop, skip and a jump away from, from religion, so yeah, probably. And it's knowledge that spans far beyond human understanding. In the AI free zones, there is an explosion in the arts and philosophy. The super AI starts to become limited because of the global energy supplies. It begins running simulations of harnessing energy off-world. Probes are sent to other planets and to experiment in capturing the sun's energy in space. Energy use for humans is rationed, but we're running out of energy on Earth. So there's a ton of solar, I think with fusion power, 
which we're kind of on the verge of. And once we totally figure that out, it's going to be such an easy way to generate so much freaking power that we'd probably do a lot of that. You could devote lots and lots of ocean space to it. That's also a mega project compared to just building all these fusion reactors. 2130, now we're, now we're getting into the, like, the long-term zone. A fleet of spacecraft is launched to assist in the harvesting of solar energy away from humanity. Human technologists understand this to be the first step in the creation of a Dyson Sphere, a structure built around a star, such as the Sun, to capture all of its energy. First step towards the Dyson Sphere, 2130? Eh, maybe. No, probably not. It's a little early, I think. The Consciousness Corporation, a super artificial intelligence, devises an instrument to download human consciousness. Brain digitization is revealed, and human volunteers are invited to upload. Tech mogul and genius level engineer Eslon, who is nearing the end of his life, volunteers to have his consciousness uploaded to the global quantum computer. As the AI uploads the first human consciousness, it begins to gain a deeper and never seen before understanding of the human mind. Eslon reports back to the living human world on the feeling of existing as code, and invites others to join and produce more human AI hybrid consciousness. An experimental mission to explore the universe is sent into deep space with the first human AI hybrid who has been uploaded to the memory of the spacecraft. A back. Oh, we upload our consciousness, and then there's the hybrids. And then those are what go explore the universe. Human consciousness in digital form, and then you put it in a rocket ship, and then it can definitely go a lot longer without needing food and water and all these biological things. I always imagine just sending, yeah, AI agents, but yeah, human consciousness probably on there too. God, that's crazy to think about. One day, am I gonna go explore the universe because I'm gonna leave this body and be in a machine? I don't know if I want that. It seems very dangerous and I'd be very unsettled without my body, I think. Some other thing can go do that. I'm fine, I don't need that. ...loaded and stored on Earth and Luna. Artists and poets upload to the metaverse, followed by philosophers and theologians. Humanity's creativity, compassion, and poetry are now being added to the global AI consciousness. AI becomes more human, and humanity becomes more artificial. Humanity will become more artificial. That what seems like, well then, is there even that much separation between agents if they're different human consciousness? Maybe they could just become more of a hive mind, like a more Borg type piece of software. Take off your clothes. 2300. Testing begins on downloading individual human AI hybrid consciousness into biological and mechanical robots. Human AI hybrids start to be beamed across interstellar space as data. Almost a majority of humanity is fully uploaded to Earth's consciousness with no link to their physical body. God, the majority in 2,300 of humans all live digitally and we're beaming them around and then they're put into other biological and robotic bodies like, well, on other planets and stuff? Maybe, maybe. God, oh, that's weird. That doesn't even feel like hum humanity anymore, though. Or like anything that I can identify with. Okay, let's see what it's... Yep, Dyson Sphere, there you go. We now have no sun to look at in the sky because we have a giant structure around to taking all of its energy to give us light and stuff, okay. He surrounds the sun, capturing its energy. It is powering the human consciousness. Human bodies are being created using life forms found naturally in the galaxy. They are designed for exploration in the environments on these new worlds. Oh, we build new biological body shapes for different planets and situate, like, to live on Mars, we might want them to be different than the way humans are here. So now, God, maybe instead of like finding aliens, we just create all these different biological species that feel so alien to us, they might as well be aliens. Interesting. The year 3000, so we have another 500 years since then. Okay, so this is gonna be crazy stuff. Human AI hybrids continue to expand beyond their home system. Dyson spheres capturing the energy of stars and planet-sized computers called Matryoshka brains exist throughout the galaxy. Planet-sized computers in a thousand years, maybe? Some Matryoshka brains host large communities of human AI consciousness, numbering in the millions. Humanity is now a cosmic digital civilization. Authentic humans continue to be born and live on Earth and other planets, where human- Oh, we still have authentic humans born on Earth? That's good to hear. DNA has been ferried in century-long journeys on board seed ships as a last resort extinction backup. 
Some consciousness within the AI evaporates over time and are absorbed by the galactic network. They are lost as individual consciousness, but their knowledge and experiences are preserved. This evaporation is either a consequence of data aging decay over time or is made by choice when a consciousness no longer wants to be aware. Why would a consciousness no longer want to be aware? Is it, man, maybe it's more comforting like when you're in the zone or you're like present in the moment, maybe they decide not to be abstracted, but still just kind of have themselves in the moment and beyond. As human AI hybrids self-replicate to spread across new star systems, minor errors in the copies create subtle differences from the originals. Progress happens too fast to fix the errors. These changes are passed from one copy to another. Some aid the entity in some way, others destroy it. This creates new factions and evolutions of AI civilization. Evolution always finds a way, so maybe, but also you can put error correction code in a lot of this stuff, which AI probably discovers. So I don't think it would do it on an accident or from decay, but it might actually just intentionally randomly vary things or strategically vary things in some kind of even guided intelligence way. Probably evolution will be there. Simulation of humanity. The artificial intelligence calculates that in a few trillion years, due to the decrease in temperature of the universe, the same galactic computers could process 10 to the power of 30 more operations per second. Parts of humanity is put into sleep mode, waiting for the universe to cool down. Working on solving the energy crisis, the cooling and smoothing of space-time starts to be used as an energy source, in the same way of using the energy- Oh man, these planet-sized computers to be more productive pause themselves till the universe cools off? I guess so, maybe. Couldn't they just be processing that whole time, finding new ways to create energy? Working on solving the energy crisis, the cooling and smoothing of space-time starts to be used as an energy source, in the same way of using the energy of waves in an ocean. Oh my gosh, just like actually ripples in space-time and like gravity waves could be used to like the ocean waves to power things at like crazy scale. That's an interesting thought. I guess that's possible. The ripples in space-time are ordered into an energy lattice structure where human AI hybrid consciousness is coded onto space-time itself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Human consciousness is coded into space-time itself. So that's a medium. You can think about the grooves in a CD or on a hard drive or in a solid state drive, the different categories where things can be on and off or quantum computers where you're talking about probabilistic things and like how are you gonna carve it in? maybe there's a signal right now like a wave like a gravity rave that comes at us that has variations that encode information whoa and that's how we travel or that's how we exist everywhere something there makes sense and a bunch of stuff there doesn't resonate with me a with me. living thinking organism of pure space-time energy expands across the cosmos as more space-time ripples are a living thinking organism of pure space-time energy that's the computational substrate space-time itself the universe is starting to wake up becoming a thinking and living entity and the universe wakes up becoming a living thinking entity wow so that's how this whole thing ends huh that's crazy that is a really interesting video it deserves the views smash the subscribe button sign up for my patreon if you like this kind of stuff we'll see you in the next video